Hello and welcome back to Kino Plays Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Um, this is a new stream, so it's been a few days since the last time I played, and I might forget what terrible voices I was doing for the people. So, sorry if I'm not consistent about things. <laughs> oh well, let's go. So this is where he was sleeping. Or at least, this is where he claims he was sleeping. No one actually saw him taking a nap here, did they? Right, and there's a picture of him near the crime scene. I hope he's telling the truth, for his sake. Let's start with the stupid wig. <laughs> there's a vast array of com cosmetics here. Oh! This is the wig he used in Samurai Boogie Woogie! Nick, try this on! No. And how can you tell the name of a show just by looking at a wig? I um, kind of like samurai movies. Kind of. They always have mirrors like this in dressing rooms. I see my hair's still nice and spiky. Just how I like it. Okay, wait. Wait, what? So you like having spiky hair, even though you get offended when people point out your spiky hair during the court part of it. Make up your fucking mind, mate! <laughs> what the hell? There's some regular suits in among the costumes here. Those must be his own clothes. It'd be fun to wear one of the costumes. I'd say you were already wearing one myself. No, oh, damn it, I missed. There's a bunch of snacks on the table. You must give those to the, uh, these to the employees. Some tea and cookies. Nick, I'm hungry. You just had a burger. Yeah, but I have a separate stomach for sweets. How many stomachs does this girl have? I mean, she's got one. St she's got the main stomach, a stomach for sweets, and a stomach for steaks. Seems legit. <laughs> Hmm? This must be Powersy's bag. Hey, don't open that. Look! An employee card key. That must be Powersy's. Ooh, we can use that to get into Studio 2. Oh? It says Studio 1. But that's the one that no one uses anymore. Let's take it, Nick. Borrow it. You mean borrow. Okay. That's weird. Oh, is there more in the bag? I wonder what else is inside Posey's bag. Stop that. My partner, the thief in training. Looks like someone was sleeping here. Maybe Powers did take a nap here yesterday. It's locked. Looks like he doesn't open his window much. I guess it is kind of dusty outside. Okay, I think that's everything in this room, unless I can check like the lights or the drawers. I guess I was wrong. I guess Studio 2's the one that's damaged and they don't use it anymore, and Studio 1's the main one. Wait, I still can't go there? Hey, detective, take a look at this. What's that? Ooh, whoa, whoa. Oh, crap, that's my voice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't show him that, he'll confiscate it. Oh, I just wanted to show it off. Yeah, and I didn't want to present it to him anyway. I th I was, since that's the only interaction thing I've got, I was thinking I'd use that on the... I'd present it here to open the gate. <laughs> oh, now I can re-examine it. Okay, I guess I will use the card key this way then. Entrance Studio 1. This is a studio where they found Jackhammer's body. 
Let's go in and check it out, Nick. I wonder if this card key we borrowed from the dressing room will work. It opened. Alright, we're in. She's way too happy for someone visiting a crime scene. Well, she is a medium, so she talks to dead people anyway, so... This is just fresher. <laughs> What is it? You're real quiet all of a sudden. Doesn't it give you the shivers, Nick? That white tape, it's so... so real. Well, the evil magistrate did die here. And the steel samurai killed him. The murder weapon was a samurai spear. Sounds pretty real to me. Seriously. <laughs> The outline where Jack Hammer's body lay with tape. His body was found still inside the evil magistrate costume. I guess that's why the head part looks like a helmet. Funny, I expected a spear stabbing would leave at least a few blood stains. I guess the costume must have absorbed most of it. Yeah! That is odd that there's no blood stains. Plus, how far was he run through? I mean, there's not, there's no like wound, no chipping or scratching or anything from when he'd fall down and the blade would have scraped the floor. On the other hand, this was a Nintendo game, so I'm not surprised there's no blood stain. <laughs> What's this? That's for reflecting light. They call it a reflecting screen or something like that. The assistant holds it during filming. Huh. What? Where's your enthusiasm for all things entertainment? Well, lighting is fine, but I'd want to be the director. Or maybe the Steel Samurai. I think she's being serious. Hey, Luke! That's the chair the director sits in. I've always wanted to sit in one of these. Hey, Nick, take a look at that. What are those black and white boards they clap at the start of filming? Where? I don't see one. <laughs> and look, a megaphone. Where? <laughs> a real life megaphone. Ready, Nick? Action! This girl is more troubled than I thought. Look, a ladder! That's a step ladder. So, what's the difference? You need to stop judging things based on narrow-minded cultural assumptions, Nick. What? Right. Sorry. This girl is out there! Really, I'm not, I'm not going to examine the bag that might have stuff in it. Really. I'm gonna look at everything else and I'm gonna ignore the bag in the chest. Wow, look at that camera! That must cost a ton! Yeah, so don't touch it. Probably also weighs a ton. Whoa, it's heavier than I thought! Told you so. Hey, you! No touching that. Oh shit, it's <laughs> I keep ending up bags and then you're giving women heavy, heavy, strong voices. <laughs> um, sorry, my partner's kind of, you know. You know? No, I don't know. Uh, who are you? Who, me? I'm an assistant here. I help with props and stuff, moving them around, ordering new ones, etc. We're lawyers representing Will Powers. Oh, you're WP's people. WP? Oh, Will Powers. WP, I get it. I don't envy you guys one bit. But do what you can for WP, okay? He'd never hurt a fly. He has to be innocent. Don't worry, leave it to us. <laughs> Tomo. <laughs> yeah, an FTM who doesn't do a voice. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm glad you said that before I made a comment about it looking like a boy. <laughs> oh god. Oh boy. So gonna get cancelled. Take a joke, people. Take a joke. Can you tell me anything about the day of the murder? Yes. I was in the studio the whole day. I was the only assistant on staff that day, you see. Only one assistant? Yes, well, the studio isn't doing so well right now. And yesterday it was only rehearsal for our, auction, for our action sequences. Oh, I see. On the morning when we went through the action sequence, sequences in the employee area. Huh. Well, you've just given away a clue. The morning of the murder, the spear was broken. So I guess they've got a backup spear, which was being kept in Studio 2. Where we think that the imposter guy came from. Interesting. WP and Hammer were there, along with everyone else. The employee area, that's where power- oh fuck. He I need to pay attention to when he changes name. <laughs> the employee area, that's where Powers' dressing room is, right? Yes, that's the place. After eating lunch there, Mr. Hammer went to Studio One. Then I saw WP go into his dressing room. But I didn't see either of them after that. Did you know that Mr. Powers was sleeping in his room? No, I wouldn't go in there unless I had some urgent message for him. I mean, it's his private. What kind of kind of a girl do you think I am? A very deeply masculine one. What kind? No, no, I'm sure you're a fine girl. I'm sorry. So much for getting a confirmation of Powers' alibi. What do we do, Nick? We haven't found anything. No, we did find something. It's just unfortunate that the picture wasn't converted into words. We, the audience, have seen that the spear broke. She didn't tell us that the spear broke, though. So that's still not knowledge that we actually have. If WP was the only one who came to the studio, then he has to be the killer. They even have a photograph. Hmm. Um, sorry. I know you're busy. Not really. Actually, there's been something bothering me. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I'm talking about! Clue! A lead! Well, I don't know about that. But that day, just after noon, I sensed someone was here. You sensed? Yes. Several times. Some other studio employees, maybe? No, I don't think so. The only thing we had scheduled was an action scene run-through. I was the only assistant here that day. I have a feeling it was someone from... outside. Really? But wait, if someone had come in here, wouldn't that security lady have noticed them? Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I don't have any better information than that. No, thanks. That helps us a lot. Anything helps. Let's go put that security lady on the spot. So he said that someone other than the regular film crews was in the studio? Yes, I think. I think doesn't cut it in a witness testimony. Nick, what about the security lady? If someone else came into the studio, she must have seen them. Should I present anything? Let's present the map. Um, any thoughts about this? Sorry. I don't really want to think too much about what happened just yet. Damn. I wanted you to talk about Studio 2. Eh. What about this? Um, any thoughts about this? Nope, same message. Alright. 
go talk to the shrew. Actually. Ah. I guess he hasn't talked to her yet to find out about what she sensed. I can't remember at all what voice I was doing for this one. And I know I gave her a deep voice for fun, but <laughs> I've completely forgotten what it was. Ah, shit. What, you're still here? Really? You look as though you've seen a ghost. Yeah, that's too close to the other one. Yeah. What? What? I saw that suspicious look on your face. Uh, God damn it, I wish I'd I could do voices. <laughs> I wanted to ask you again about yesterday. You came here at 1pm, correct? And the estimated time of Hammer's death was 2.30? Are you sure that Powers was the only one to go through here between those times? Sure as can be. But we have a witness who thinks there was someone from outside here that day. What? Are you absolutely sure you were here watching the whole time? Ma'am? Who was it? Who told you that? Who dares question me? Eh? Alright, you better tell me and tell me quick, you spiky-eyed cretin. Someone's been complaining about the work I do, eh? Uh, um, we were just asking t we were just talking to the assistant she here one hey she's not even a full-time employee all you youngins are like that nowadays oh motherfucker no again she's talking to too fast can't keep up with no <laughs> fuck damn you bullshit <laughs> she left well Nick this is our chance to do what we can without her looking over our shoulders. I really hate that character. There's no way I can read that fast. Certainly not read it and speak it that fast. <laughs> that would take practice. Oh, wait. With her not here, maybe now I can actually look at the goddamn computer and see that photo. Nick, maybe we can see that photo of Powers with this computer. Yeah, no shit, that's what I just said! Yeah, maybe. Should I try the computer? Yes, obviously. Okay, let's give it a try. You know how to work these things, Nick? Looks like I just have to enter in a few numbers. Let's see, first I need the date of the murder. Looks like the camera turned on at 1pm that day. 1pm, that was when the security lady arrived at the guard station. Please enter the number of the security camera. Shit. Um, I don't remember. I'm going to have to... Oh, I can't back out. Okay. Try the middle one, I guess. There, entered. Hey, you printed out the date for that day. Uh, the data for that day. Let's see what we got. Holy shit, I got the right one. Okay. One in three chance represent. <laughs> huh? How is this a picture of Will Powers? Also, why is this guy... Okay, either this guy is really friggin' short? Or does Will Powers always have massively oversized trousers? Because that's sus as fuck. Well, he is the one who always wears that suit. I guess that's why the security lady thought it was him. I don't imagine the detective was very happy with this photo as evidence. Hmm? Something's printed on the back. Huh? Eh? October 15, 2pm, photo number 2. What does that mean? Maybe there's more photo data from that day. Nope, that's the only one in the computer. Huh. Well, that's sus. Hey, hey, Nick. Can't we use this photo as evidence for the trial? Mm, not in a real court, but in this kangaroo one, yeah. 
We'll put that security lady in a place with this. Right, we'll put her in a place. Hey, that's what I said. Anyway, let's show her this photo and see what she says. Wait, let's not. Why not? It's never a good idea to reveal your hand to the enemy too soon. Nick, you're craftier than I gave you credit for. Yeah, this one the thief. Why, you could be the next evil magistrate. Hey, why do I have to be the villain? Relax, he was just a joke. So, are we done for today? I think this photo is what we needed for the trial. Still, it'd be better if we had some idea who the real killer was. Maybe it really is that security lady. Hmm. Wait, seriously? We're, act we're actually calling it a day? Oh, that's so stupid! We should go talk to the assistant again! And other people now that we've got this photo. Then we could get confirmation of what we don't know, but we, the audience, do know. That the spear snapped. Plus, someone maybe would comment on the fact that the legs are way too long. And dragging behind the character. God damn it. I guess we've got to wait till the actual trial for that stuff. This is why you do your investigating before the trial. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show the court that at 2.30pm on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, killed fellow actor Jack Hammer in Studio One of Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this heinous crime. The evidence presented during the trial will all point to this fact. Hmm, I see. Very well, I would like to move on to some testimony. Mr. Edgeworth, the prosecution may call its first witness. Very well, I call a most familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studios, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning there. Huh. Well, we didn't see that bit with the hole, with the uh, grating taken off it. I don't think that's too small for anyone to have fit through, but they could have hidden some in there. We should have looked in that. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here at 1pm uh, on that day. Past the security station there is a gate, see? Past that are the studios. And here it is, Studio One. This is the scene of the murder where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer, the defendant, Will Powers, and a young woman, the production assistant. All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then after lunch, the victim, Jack Hammer, went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1pm, the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5pm. Well, is there not a second security guard? Because, I mean, the assistant had... When the assistant was talking about them eating lunch together, the security lady was there eating lunch with them. So who was on gates at 12? From 12 to 1. production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. 
Needless to say, the rehearsal was cancelled. No, really. The time of death was 2.30pm. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm. Should I listen to that whole thing again? Ah! I don't think I should, but it depends on whether I can press him on anything during this. Hopefully, if I can't press him, I'll be able to skip it. <laughs> I'm sorry, could you describe that one more time? I should know near be you, pal. Fine. Once more for the mentally challenged lawyer. Fuck you! Yeah, yeah, live it up while you can, gumshoe. And no, I can't press on anything here, so... Skip. Yeah, yeah, get on with it. I mean, why, why even have me repeat it if I can't cross-examine it? Skip. I think I can probably remember that. So, the murder weapon was a spear. How medieval. Okay. Your Honor, this case is quite simple if you ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Let's call this security officer to the stand. And yeah, it is really goofy how, how that hole in his chest looked. <laughs> Will the witness declare her name? Hmm? My, aren't you a handsome fellow? I'm afraid I'm a bit flustered. Y your name, please. Oh dearie. No need for you to be embarrassed. Just call me Grandma. Your name, please. Seems Edrith has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Wendy Oldback, dearie. So just call, call me go, oh motherfucking not again, here we go again. Son of a bitch. Okay, if she pulls this crap during her testimony, I'd better be able to go through a line at a time and press her on this, on this shit. Because I'm not going to be able to read it all out. <laughs> Uh, objection. I object to the witness's talkativeness. <laughs> objection sustained. Please, lady, shut the fuck up. The witness will refrain from rambling on the stand. <laughs> I was just getting to the good part, dearie. Perhaps we can get to the testimony? Now, the witness was stationed at the main gate on the day of the murder, correct? Yes, you say? That's supposed to be yes or e. I have no idea how you're supposed to say that word. That I've not heard anyone say yes a or anything. Yeah, I was. And to get to the scene of the murder, would someone would have to pass you pass by you? Oh, fuck it. Ah, tongue tied. You know you're stuck, dearie. Yeah. You may begin your testimony. She sure is one hell of an old bag. On the day of the murder, I arrived at the guard station at 1pm. Poor old Hammer and the rest had been doing a run-through. There, ah, mother tongue tied again. Poor old Hammer and the rest rest had been doing a run-through there since the morning. I, well, I had some errands to run that morning. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. I was at the main gate from, from then until 5pm. Now, the murder happened at 2.30, two right? Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by me at 2. It was Powers. That man right there, and he was heading toward the station. 
You saw the defendant, then? Hmm. Very well. Let's begin the cross-examination, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honour. So, up until that time, anyone who wanted to could get into uh, could go into the state studio. Take. Well, there wasn't a security guard at the gate, no. But the main gate was locked, dearie. You'd need an employee card key to get in. Right, the card key that I have. So what she's saying is, no one who wasn't supposed to be there could get in. Unless they had a card key that they'd stolen from someone. Was there anyone at the studios when you arrived at the guard station? Poor old Hammer and the rest have been doing a run-through there since the morning. Oh, mother... I didn't mean to skip that one. God damn it. Oh well. Shit. I'm just all kinds of fucking up today. <laughs> God damn it, Kina. What kind of errands? Oh well, you know. Answer the question. Actually, I was watching Poor Hammer and Powers. No, uh, Poor Hammer and Powers. Observing, you know. Observing? When are you supposed to be at the guard station? Whippersnapper, I told you I locked the gate, didn't I? I did my job. Not sure your boss would see it that way. Anyway. I always watch Hammer's run throughs. Always. Never missed one in all my years. Wow. I want to see a Steel Samurai run through, too. You could quit being a spirit medium and take up guard duty. Not a bad idea. Anyway, it was one when I got to the guard station. Did you see the victim then? Did I see poor old Hammer? No. He'd already gone to the studio before he got back to the guard station. Tell us what happened next. I was at the main gate from then until 5. So you're watching there the whole time? No breaks? Not even a second? Of course, I am a professional, you know. Or are you criticising how I do my job, whippersnapper? No, it's just after seeing you eating those donuts in the guard station yesterday. I can watch the gate and eat donuts at the same time. Snipper whapper. Snipper Whopper? Old Windbag is losing it, Nick. Why aren't you raising an objection? So, the witness was on duty through the afternoon the whole time. Very well. What did you see? Now, the murder happened at 2.30... Ah, fucking hell, wrong voice. Now, the murder happened at 2.30, right? Oh, you know that. Oh, oh, oh I have my ways. That overdressed young detective told me. I fed him some donuts and he talked and talked. If you ask me, that detective isn't cut out for this job. Poor detective Gumshoe, getting ratted out by a security guard. Interesting to me, because a certain man walked right by it at me at 2pm. Um, I don't think that's right. Well, it is 2pm, but he didn't walk past you. Yeah, he didn't walk past you at all. He walked past the camera at 2pm. Let me guess that's straight, old bag. Um, Mrs. Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers, correct? Well, you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this, exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Yes, I know it's a stupid name. Miss Oldback, is this the Ma Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course. Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Anyone can plainly see that's Powers, right? No, they can't. 
Um, well, I mean, I wonder. True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But, that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. I, I know that, I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing you of that. <laughs> <laughs> witnessed. <laughs> yeah, she's certainly not that young. <laughs> He's having tr trouble calling her old bag, apparently. However, you do not have proof that the person in this photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Hmph. <laughs> Nosy old man. Of course I have proof. What? Huh? Even Edgeworth this surprised. Prosecution would like to ask the old... <laughs> the witness. Please make known all the information in your possession ahead of time. How was I to know everyone would be so nosy? You should be ashamed, all of you. Anyway, I showed that photo to the young detective. He told me, this isn't any... This isn't any good as evidence, pal. He didn't even give it a second look. Oh, Windbag was... Has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. <laughs> Let's hear about your proof then. I never say anything I don't mean, mind you. That morning, during the run through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now, look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his legs, see? Clear as day. Hmm... There's more than... It's more than just his leg being dragged there. The clothes themselves are way too fucking long for him. That's how I knew it was Powers. Happy? Hmm... So he had sprained his ankle. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals. I call bullshit on that! Um, Whipper Snapper! Hey, I haven't said anything yet! I'll have you know I'm not pointing fingers at anyone behind their backs. Anything I've said is on the straight and narrow. Up and up. You today always whining about each other, pointing. Blah, 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 blah. Mr. Wright, please, for all our sakes, try not to upset the witness. <laughs> I think Edgeworth has made his match. That mind you, in the run through of the action scene. Who was present at the run through? Well, let's see. There was Powers. He's the Steel Samurai. Then poor old Hammer, the evil magistrate. And... me. Well, that's not true. The assistant was there at the... at the practice, wasn't she? I'm sure she said she was present. And what exactly were you doing? Observing. Just observing. What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. She said she did. I'm sure she told me she saw it. Okay, one of these two deep voiced ladies is definitely telling a lie. <laughs> Trip and fall. Yes, and to think he's supposed to be the Steel Samurai. <laughs> what a laugh. So Poe sprained his an ankle. I helped make it better for him, of course. You helped make it better? I kissed it where it hurt. And then higher. And higher. Let's just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant, then? Oh, her? 
She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't know about Powers' ankle. Hmm. You may continue your testimony. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Okay, so what this sounds like to me then is that the assistant may be the killer and we'll find out that you they they weren't dragging their ankle because they didn't know about it, but they were too damn short so the le the leg of the costume was hanging behind. So maybe I'll maybe I'll end up getting caught out catching them out. Maybe. But you know she didn't know about the twisted ankle thing, so why would she be pretending to have a twisted ankle? Because she wasn't. She was short. That's a guess. He broke a prop? Sure did. His own samurai spear. Bent it right in half. You never want a bent spear. <laughs> His samurai spear. The murder weapon? Luckily, I was there with my duct tape to fix it. This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Well, yeah, you can see the duct tape in the picture, you always could. Mm. Apparently, he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Was Mr. Powers' ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went to his dressing room to rest up after lunch. Thus the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he was walked. Dragging his foot? Okay. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, Your Honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is this Steel Samurai costume now? Uh, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. We're looking, though. Hmm. Anyway, that's not important. Really? The thing that might have all the DNA evidence on it on the inside of the costume isn't important? The witness did see the Steel Samurai, yes. It is clear that the person in the Steel Samurai suit was Mi Mr. Will Powers. Hmm, I suppose that's right. Are you sure you're sure, Your Honor? Holy right there. We keep ta talking possibilities, but we have to agree that this photo shows the Steel Samurai. No, in this photo can we see Mr. Will Powers. Hmm. The defense has a point. I also wonder if someone else not caught on camera could have killed Mr. Hammer. We have to consider that possibility also. Now allow me to remove that doubt from your mind, Your Honor. Will the witness continue her testimony, please? No need to ask twice. The time of poor, poor Hammer's death was 2.30, true? The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. No one else went there. If they had, I would have seen them. That's not true, though. We've seen where the camera is. There is a massive blind spot underneath that camera. Plus, anyone going from Studio 2 could reach Studio 1 without even passing it. There's a huge gap in this logic. Hmm. So, if no one else went to the studio, then it would have to be this Steel Samurai who did it. Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. How'd you know that? Hey, didn't I just explain? I gave donuts to the young detective. And then, after some rubbish about it being a secret, pal. He told me everything. I see Detective Gumshoe shares his fellow officer's funds for donuts. The only person I saw go to the studio before then was Will Powers. Are you absolutely sure? Oh, quite, quite, Sonny. 
nobody suspicious looking past by at all. But does that mean that nobody at all passed by, or just nobody suspicious looking passed by? Nobody suspicious looking. Right. Also, what about that? What about photo number one? We need to see that because. According to the timeline, the only person that should be in photo number one would be Will Hammer, the murder victim, who would have been taken when he went over there at one o'clock. However, I've got a feeling that photo number one shows someone other than Will, at which point the question becomes, how did Will get to Studio One without having his photo taken? Which, also, which would then open up more possibilities for how the murderer could have gotten around. I think Photo 1's going to be a key piece of evidence, and the fact we don't have it is a bit... sus. No one, no one else went there. What about before you got to the guard station? You mean before what? You mean before 1? Why, everyone was in the employee area before then. And I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Not to mention... If they had, I would have seen them. Are you sure? The witness has answered the question. Anyone going into the studio had to pass by the witness. That's right, Sonny. You let him have it, edgy boy. Edgy boy? Old Winback sure has balls. Um, you know what I mean. No, I think you're correct at the first time. That's why she has such a deep voice. <laughs> no, she has a deep voice because I thought it'd be funny. <laughs> Old Winbags have a way of skipping over important details, after all. Or, for that matter, entirely forgetting them. How convenient. Something for you to look forward to, perhaps. <laughs> God damn it, Phoenix, you're a dick! Good lad. <laughs> the time of poor Hammer's death was 2.30, true? Hang on, isn't that the very start? Why have we gone back to the very start of the thing? What? Have we looped around? Uh, okay, yeah, we've looped around. Um, here we are. So I guess now I need to present the guide map to prove it. Wait, that's wrong? Fuck off! The guide map definitely shows that someone could get the, get to the studio to studio one without being seen. Come on! Does. I don't see anything contradictory. Really? You don't see that there's a direct line but route between two and one that totally bypasses the gate and the security room. Seriously? For fuck's sake. I did think that felt like the right answer. God damn it. Oh shit! I know where I should have done it. Um. Ah, so he's doing a loop here. Right, come back to the no one else pa came past. There. Because it's photo number two. This is to prove that there's a photo before it. Right. I still say the fucking map should work, though. <laughs> Hold on. Look at this photograph one more time. This photo was taken by the camera at the gate to the gate for the studios, correct? Yes, sir, Sonny. So, whenever anyone passes by here, it automatically takes a picture. And here, I thought you didn't know your head from a hole in the ground, bitch. <laughs> right. Anyway, it's also true that the computer in the guard station records all security cam data. Oh, you know, if you wanted to work at the studio, we might have an op opening. 
I'm very computer printed out this photo. Note that on the back of the photo are printed the words October 15th, 2pm, photo number 2. Even I know that means it was taken at 2pm on October 15th. Really, Sonny. Actually, I knew that too. The issue here is the bit at the end where it says photo number 2. Photo 2? The computer only held data for one photo on that day. Don't you think that's a little odd? Shouldn't this photo be photo 1 if it really was the only photo? Order! Order! Please tell the court what you mean by this, Mr. Wright. Actually, that's what I want to ask the witness. This evidence shows that not one, but two people went to the studio that day. Yet there's only data for one of the photos. Actually, it doesn't show that at all, really. I mean, unless the photo only gets taken going in one direction? Wouldn't photo one just be all four of them going to eat after they'd done their practicing in Studio One? Or weren't they practicing in Studio One anyway? And yes, there could be, surely there could be a three, four, and even more than that. It only shows that this is the second photo, not that there were none before it or after it. You could have erased the data for the other photo. Good call, Tema. Only someone with access, the security leader herself. Or anyone else that could get to that computer like you when she wasn't at it. You watch your mouth, whippersnapper. The only person I saw that day was Will Powers. With the camera on the gate fired twice, that means two people went by. Yeah, and surely number one was... Hammond. Um, well, yes, that's what it would seem to mean. Can the witness explain this to the court? Uh, <clears throat> I don't understand these newfangled computer things. Um, edgy boy, help. Believe me, I want to, but I don't know what this means either. And please stop flirting with me, you creep me out. Hmm, <laughs> some help you are. You're a whippersnapper too. Whippersnapper? Something the matter, Miss Oldbag? Uh, ah, that's right. I, I just remembered something. Let me guess. Someone else passed by the gate? Someone other than the Steel Samurai? Uh, well, yes, I suppose. You could put it that way. Yeah, that's also a possibility, Termo. The first one might have involved Hammer, but it's not to say that Hammer was the only person passing by the camera at that time, either. There could have been two or more people there. I mean, he could have walked in there with the assistant. Or anyone, really. Hmm. I see. At least this is this being the third case is the first time they haven't shown us the murderer at the start of the fucking thing, so we're legitimately questioning everything instead of knowing, yeah, but that person can't have been involved because we saw the one who killed them. I, I don't know why they did that for the first two murders. That was dumb. That took all the mystery out of it. At least this one's an actual murder mystery now. Hmm, I see. Your testimony, please. Yeah, it could be a difficulty curve term, I suppose. But still, don't show us the killer. That's just stupid. <laughs> and of course, don't deus ex machina the, an entire case by having the ghost, the ghost solve it for us. I mean, if you're going to do that, you might as well have done that in the first case, not the second one. Even though she was alive in the first case. You know what I mean. <laughs> Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. Fluffing. Yes. I'm that talented. 
I go through the photos recorded on the security computer and check them. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. Come to think of it, now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. This old bag, that's the first I've heard of this. Well, of course, Sonny. I only just remembered it. Right. Anyway, Mr. Wright, please begin the cross-examination. Well, I'd say this was a turn for the unexpected, but I kind of expected this. And that wasn't her voice. Fuck. <laughs> Every day after I finish my guard duties, I have one other important job to do. Another job? That's right, I check all the people that passed by the main gate that day. I look closely at every one of the photos that security camera takes. Did you back up all of the camera data? Well, they keep telling me to, yes. But those computers are just so frustrating. I throw out any photos that aren't suspicious looking, you see. How exactly do you determine what isn't suspicious looking? Oh, you can tell by looking at their faces, for the most part. F for the most part? This is a murder trial, old bag. Well, I didn't touch that suspicious looking Will Powers photo, did I? I think she's missing the point. Come to think of it now, I remember throwing out one photo that day. Well, who in the heck was in that photo you erased? Hmm, a fanboy. Fa fanboy? Steel Samurai fanboys, real freaks if you ask me. Both in reality and in the sheets. Hmm. They get information about the rehearsals from gosh knows where. They're always hanging around. One was there that day. Wait a second. Didn't you just say no one else could get in? I locked the main gate so no one could get in. Those were your words. Well... If you must know, there's a drain that goes into the employee area. Wait, that?! Fuck off with that! That is way too small for anyone to get through that. Come on! Only a kid could get through that. You could have made that bigger if you were going to pull that bullshit. Or had it be a ground one. You know, like a sewer cover or something. Fuck off with that shit. I mean, at best, comparison-wise, that's only half a bike wheel high. You'd be lucky to get a head through there. Then again, the head is the one, the hardest part to get through things. If you can fit your head through, you can pr you can fit your body through it, unless you're probably as fat as I am. <laughs> After all, the head won't squeeze through things. It's bone. <laughs> the grate has been loose for a while. It leads outside, and, well, that's where they come in. Well, yeah, bike wheels are pretty big, but... Eh. Yeah, uh, Fuck. Uh, I mean, head height-wise, not width or depth or... Yeah, you know what I'm saying, I think. I think I know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, actually, I'm not sure, but... Eh. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to get at. <laughs> Still, it looks, the drain looks small. Maybe they're just bad at size comparisons. Or oh, that is a really big drain, I, I don't know. They come in through the drain? They told you they were freaks. Oh, and... And... They're kids. Children. Whippersnappers. Okay, now that explains it. So it's kids that are coming in through there. Eh... Kids. So on the photo that you erased, it was a boy, probably second or third grade. 
What? Order. Order. Let me get this straight. You saw two people pass by the gate on their way to the studios that day. One was the Steel Samurai dragging his leg. The other was a boy who looked to be in about second or third grade. Which is how old Ian? Because I'm not American. I'm guessing that's the equivalent to the second and third year? And we start school at age five, so we're talking around about six to eight years old, I guess. Just say how old you think the damn kid looks, don't say grades. That's a fucking stupid metric. Oh yes, well, we see his type there every day. Can't stop him, can't catch him. A boy in second or third grade? Hmm. I assume it would be hard, if not impossible, for a young boy to wield the sp samurai spear. Impossible, I'd think. It's quite heavy. How'd you know that? Have you head it, held it? I mean, it's a prop. It's probably not that heavy. But, mm. Right, as I said, I didn't pay him much mind. That's why I erased the data. Um, Nick? What's going on? I mean, the boy was there. That makes him a suspect. Yeah, and they're already trying to unsuspect him. At the very least, he'd be a witness. This court will take a five minute recess. And so will we. Well, maybe five minutes, maybe less. Because that's the end of this part. N Thank you for joining me. This has been Keanu Plays, Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. New episodes upload daily to the YouTube channel, 9pm UK time. Thank you for joining me. Take care, and goodbye.